What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I will show you how to create your own habit tracker and some suggestions on what to track. Habit trackers are brilliant tools to use to become more mindful of your habits. They are a great way to save space in your planner too instead of having to waste list making space rewriting the same tasks multiple times per week or using a ton of planner stickers to remind you to do those tasks. So today, not only will I give you ideas on what to track, I will also teach you how to create your own very simple and easy habit tracker in InDesign. You can have this for your personal use, sell it, share it with others, or create it as a giveaway in your blog. And please check out my daily planner, meal planner, and to-do list templates as well. I will leave the links in the description. And if you're new to my channel, welcome and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content-packed videos. I truly appreciate your help, so let's get started, shall we? So what's a habit tracker? A wise man once said, know yourself to improve yourself. Getting to know yourself is maybe one of the hardest things we can do as a human, but once we do, it gives us the freedom to be ourselves, improve ourselves, and also to be more patient with other people in our lives. So what is the best way to get to know yourself? Probably one of the easiest ways to get to understand yourself is understanding your habits, good and bad. The best way to do this is through a habit tracker. This can be in a form of a daily habit tracker to systematically track daily activities such as sleeping hours and water intake, but it could also be formatted in a weekly habit tracker or even a year in pixel tracker for any habit that you don't have to track daily like savings or weight loss. Since it is suggested that you journal regularly and daily by keeping habit trackers in your boat journal you can break habits you no longer want easily you can also create new habits that improve your life habit trackers are brilliant tools to use to become more mindful of your habits a way to become more accountable to yourself and also the best way to either break a habit a bad habit or create a new positive one so what do you track in your journal here are some things to track in your habit tracker and obviously you don't have to track all of them and uh, one tip it's highly recommended to use color coding by subject in your routine tracker These are just a few suggestions. You know yourself better than anyone else, so try to look deeply into what sort of things you've been doing in your life that needs tracking. If you're enjoying this video so far, please like, share, comment, and subscribe so I can continue on creating tutorials just like this. Much appreciated. So now let's get on to the fun part, creating a habit tracker. So open up your InDesign and set up your document. For this tutorial, I am using 6 by 9 inches, a landscape mode, and as for your margins, uh, make sure that you have enough space on the side if you want to put this on a binder or journal or a planner. And this is the tracker that we will be creating today. It's a monthly habit tracker. Okay, now let's go and start our tracker. So first thing is the graphic design on top. You can insert any design that you like and there are two ways to insert graphics in your design. One is to just go to your file folder then drag and drop the image to your document. For this one, I want to use this and just drag it, drop it to your document. You, another way is to use the shortcut for placing images which is Control or Command P or you can also go to File and Place and then look for your image and then just hit Open. 
All right, now that you have your image here, resize is to the size that you want. I have a tutorial on how to properly resize images that will make your life so much easier. And the link is in the description. Okay, so let me resize this. There we go. Next, take your line tool and just draw a line across. So this is your line tool here. Just click it, drag a line all the way across. You can hold the um, shift key while dragging to get a straight line. And then we need to change the size and the color. So this is the stroke color. I want it black, but with a maybe opacity of 80. And this is the stroke size, probably about two or three. There you go. So let's do the box now. It's this one. Let me show you. So we'll be creating the text and the box. Okay, now go back. Just click on your rectangle tool. Draw a box. Then change the background color to white and the stroke to black with an opacity of 80 or tint. You have it and then just center it here now take your text tool or type tool draw a box and then type habit tracker highlight this put it in the center change the size and also the font to whatever font you like got it and then just put it there center it right there we go now we're almost done now use the text tool or the type tool to create a table just click on it and then drag it across like so then go to table insert table enter 20 for rows and depending or depending on how many rows that you want and 32 for columns and just hit ok all right so the first box here will be for your month just this one and these are for your days type in the days of the month and you you can change the font size or the font face later if you want or you can do that also right now and since I want the same look I will have to create a new character style so first let me create a new character style just hit the character styles panel if you can find it it's it's in the window and styles and then character styles all right so once you have this panel just click on this plus or the add icon and it will create a new style for you just double click that one and you can change the style name for example let's do days and here these are the options that you can um, use for example for the basic character formats this is the font family that you want the font size the tracking you can change anything here so for example i want this font and regular for the size probably around six that should do it for the character color i want it white because i want to change the background color a bit later and you can do whatever you want here and well once you're um, okay with your settings just hit okay and now let's change this color first maybe this one all right also i want to change i want to highlight everything because i want to change uh, the point or the size of the lines of my table it's a little bit thinner all right and just center this now I'm ready to type in my days. Let's do this. Don't worry about it now. We'll sort it out later. 
All right. So just click on this and then click on the character style that we just created, which is Cortez. There you go. Now it changes everything. All right. Now we want to resize this. This is where you want to type or um, write your, your habits. So we need an ample space for that. Let's just resize the columns. All right, there you have it. We have our very own uh, heavy tracker. So you can change the colors uh, for this um, rectangle here if you want. You can change uh, whatever color here for your columns. You can do whatever you want with this one. There you go, guys. As I've said earlier, habit trackers are brilliant tools to use to become more mindful of your habits, a way to become more accountable to yourself, and also the best way to either break a bad habit or create a new positive one. You can also use this template as a test tracker or builds tracker, or just change the title before printing. Try tracking your habits for a month and see what it does to your life. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and what sort of other printables you want to see next. I hope this is a handy DIY project for you and if you appreciate that I make videos like this for free, please like, subscribe, and share this video on social media. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and gives me reasons to keep making these videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Keep watching and keep learning. Bye-bye!